Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today I'm gonna show you seven very compact and convenient USB-C LiPo chargers to charge your batteries while you are on the go for work, for travel. And you can charge everything going from a little 1S battery all the way up to a 6S monster. And the reason why it makes sense to use these chargers is because with the recent advancements of USB-C and power delivery, now we can transfer a ton more power into devices and most of us video makers drone pilots are already pretty invested in this ecosystem probably 90 percent of your gear already uses usb-c power delivery your phone laptop camera dji drones and 360 camera and whatever and most probably you already have or already are carrying some form of usb-c power delivery chargers single output multiple output which is super useful if you have many devices or even a power delivery power bank. With these chargers, you don't need to bring an external and bulky power supply anymore. You just hook them up to the same device you use to charge everything else you are carrying. Let's start by checking out these little 1S chargers you usually get bundled with 1S tiny whoops. I group them together because they do the same thing. They are only one purpose. You plug them in and you can start charging a battery and that's all they do. They are tuned for high voltage batteries, so 4.35 volts. If you need 4.20 volts, you probably need to buy another model, but most 1S batteries nowadays for tiny hoops are HV, so be sure you get the right one. And they have a couple of exits, so you can charge two batteries at a time. And these batteries are charged already. If you plug your battery in this test port, they also show you the voltage of the battery. And they don't even need power delivery, a regular USB-C output is enough, 10 watts. If you want a better solution for 1S charging, this is the Gepard-C Wu Charger W63. You can charge six batteries at a time. You also get PH2 ports on the sides alternative to these ones. These are the specs reported on the back and this thing can accept up to 100 watts of input power either by USB-C or boom a full-fledged XT60 so you can use a big battery on the field to turn it on. And for supplying 100 watts of power I'm gonna use this iNew P63 is a power bank that has 100 watts output so it's exactly what we need to power this charger at full power. And if you're interested about these super powerful power banks from iNeo, I just reviewed them, check the link in the description. But basically, this is the P62, 20,000 milliamps, 65 watts of output. The P63 is 25,000 milliamps, 100 watts out. And the P64 is 25,000 milliamps, 140 watts of output. Let's plug a few batteries in. And it is set up that it starts charging as soon as you plug something in. You can select between different chemistries, LiPo, Lithium High Voltage and Lithium Iron. The end voltage, what to do if storage charge, charge or discharge the batteries. And you can also control the charge current going into your batteries. If you have bigger batteries, you don't have to wait as long as with the puny little chargers. You can also select multiple batteries or deselect something and apply these settings to all of the batteries you connect. It's super, super granular. And now let's talk about 2S chargers. I have the smallest, tiniest 2S charger ever. This is from Radiolink. I feel like it is for charging radio batteries, but still <laughs> you can charge lipos with it. You just plug in the USB on one side and the lipo on the other and it starts charging. And also it doesn't charge high voltage batteries, it charges them to regular 4.20 volts. If you want to get serious about USB-C 2S charging, this is the V-Fly Store 2S charger. It supports a quite wide variety of inputs. You can use a barrel plug, a regular LiPo battery or again the USB-C connector. You connect it in and it turns on. At the back you have the specs, the maximum input power is 65 watts, so we can totally use our power banks today. And to use it is very easy, just plug in the batteries that need charging, the settings you're gonna select are gonna be for all four batteries, you cannot select batteries individually. Quick pressing the right button will let you select the voltage, you can see 420, 435 or 380, so you can store a charge both lithium ion and lithium hv batteries and charge them so i'm gonna select 4.35 which means i'm gonna charge them pressing the left button you can select what 
the amperage you're gonna supply the batteries with you can go up to 1.5 amps and then it cycles back to 200 milliamps i'm gonna select 1.5 if you long press the right button, it disable the beeping. And if you long press the left button, it's gonna start charging all the batteries connected. And now it's time to charge 4S batteries on the go. For it, I'm gonna use this ISDT PD60, which actually can charge 2S, 3S, and of course, 4S batteries. I changed the plug because it comes with a XC60, but I mostly use XT30 batteries, so it's much easier to just connect without an adapter. You can cycle through preset amperage, so I'm gonna go 2 amps, and if you long press, you can select the battery technology. So I'm gonna go with lithium high voltage. You can go lipo, lithium high voltage, lithium iron, and nickel metal hydride. You can only charge with this charger. You cannot discharge or store a charge. I'm gonna connect the battery. It shows you the percentage, it's a 40%. Press, and boom. It lights up and it starts charging the battery. Super easy, when it's done, it's gonna beep and you can charge another one, one at a time. If you want a little bit more granular control, this Toolkit RC M4 Pocket is the solution. You can input up to 80 watts of power and actually use a XT60 or, boom, <laughs> a USB-C plug. So I'm gonna plug it in, 80 watts coming in, and on the bottom, again, they did the smart choice to use XT30, or XT60 to charge your batteries. And the balance port is on the side, which for small batteries, sometimes it can be hard to reach all the way here. With this charger, you can only charge LiPos and lithium high voltage batteries, as well as storage charge the same LiPos and LiPo high voltage batteries. No nickel metal hydrate or lithium iron like these other chargers, but most usually you don't need to charge those batteries on the go. And you can go up to five amps of current. It only has one button, so it's not the easiest thing to navigate, but you get the hang of it. And finally, it's time to charge 6S batteries with this super little charger from my SDT. This is the 608 power delivery PD. And not only can take a DC input, but also it has the USB-C up to 240 watts, which is a crazy amount of power to be supplying with USB-C. And I don't have anything able to provide 240 watts. The maximum I can do is 140 from this P64 power bank from iNew. Let's connect the cable. And you can see it detected maximum 140 watts of output. And actually the nice thing about this charger is if you discharge a battery, you can send the power back through the USB-C and charge devices. It's super, super neat. And boom, the interface changes and shows you all the cells and everything is really, really nice. It's a full-fledged charger, actually, in a very small form. I like it. If you go into the charge menu, long press. Now, the menu system, it comes with presets, you see? You need to create them. And creating them, even if it has three buttons, is a little bit... Yeah. And it goes all the way up to 10 amps, which is monstrous. You can fine-tune the charging voltage, select what kind of batteries you're gonna charge, even a 1S batteries you can charge, and the battery chemistry, lipo, lithium iron, lead batteries, nickel metal hydride, or lipo high voltage. Let's save this preset and see if it charges. I don't think it's gonna charge because uh, it's too many watts pulling. 10 amps at 20 volts is uh, 200 watts, I don't think it's gonna make it. Let's see if it's smart enough to... yeah. It stops right at the maximum this charger is able to provide. So it doesn't matter if you select uh, 10 amps, it's only gonna use 5 in this case, which is a little bit more than 100. But still, we are charging this battery at more than 2C, it's not gonna take very long. And that's all for today. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. I'm very curious to know what do you think about these USB-C LiPo chargers, and I'm very curious to know what you actually use for charging your batteries, and if you have any recommendation on other chargers I have not tried yet, because I am very, very sold on this idea when traveling. And also, if you want to buy something, all, all of the products I have shown today are linked in the description down below, and clicking on those links, you help my channel a lot. As always, stay safe and happy charging. Bye!